Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on a haul. I haven't done a haul for a while. Um, if you notice a difference, yeah, <laughs> it's, I fixed it. Um, I still got the crack slightly, but I did fix it so I can use my camera. Yay! Um, so yeah, that makes me so freaking happy. That piece of twiz tweezers works dandy. So yeah, let's get started. So let's start off with Morphe. Um, so I did uh, Morphe real quick. Um, I got some stuff from Morphe. I decided I wanted to try out, um, I don't know why I grabbed this stuff from Morphe. I'm like, anyways, yeah. Um, so let's start off the brow stuff from Morphe. It's a little kit that came. It was like you get four pieces for like super cheap. And I think they might have like a sale on it too. So um, here's their, uh, this thing I don't really, I'm not into like whole brow gels type of thing. So yay, there's that. Um, I might throw that in the Dorina when I send out palette towards her. Um, but yeah, here's this guy. I don't do, I just don't do it. I just, I set my powder this way. I have, I have this on my eyes today and not this guy, but, um, these guys is what I have on my eyes today. Whoops. And the pomade, this little guy. So it came with five pieces. Like I said, it has the pomade, the eye, the powder, the, this thing. Like, what the hell is that? Ugh. I'm like, I, lash comb maybe? I don't know. But yeah, the spoolie is fine. I don't mind the spoolie, um, but I wish I would have had an actual applicator on it. Then the powder. So let's get started. So my shade is in um, Latte. I was trying to get the, the lightest one that's usually I get for my brows because I don't like a super harsh brow. Uh, on when it, I have um, actually my dark roots, I don't care. Um, but when I'm blonde, I put a little orange around the roots. Ugh. Um, I don't like it. So let me just get you some swatches of these guys. It of course is similar to the Anastasia pump. This is the closest thing I've come to the Anastasia. So hang on, let me do some swatches. Okay, so there's the swatches of it. I hope you can get kind of close of it. There's this pencil, there's the pomade, which you can see kind of, it's, I like, when I do pomades, I like it light as possible because it just makes it dark. For me, I think it's too dark. Um, but yeah, so there's that. The powder works fine. I usually get like a gray. Then I did get my um, mascara that I absolutely love. This is, I'm not going to open it because I want to keep it full a bit. This is the Morphe, um, I think this is it, Make It Big Mascara. Freaking love this guy. It's the closest thing I've come to the Lancome Hypnos Drama. It gives you the biggest, fattest, freaking bloody lashes, lashes ever. Um, I love it. Again, I don't British. I just say it. I just don't like use the word damn or I don't say the word Okay, I do say fuck, but whatever. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's beautiful. I do really, um, I had a sample of it. Or he didn't give me a sample. I just fall in love of it. The little mini of it. You can get the mini for like eight bucks. This is like maybe about $4 more. But I love it. Um, it's the closest thing to the Hypnos Drama um, Mascara freaking love. So he's going back in his cute little packaging because why not? Um, this is... Except Hypnos Drama from Lancome is one of my holy grails. I love it, love, love, love. Okay, so there's the brow shit. Now let's get into um, Too Faced. So let's start, oh, this guy keeps going out. Start off with Too Faced palettes. Let's start off with these three right here. I did rank these in my um, thing. Of course, I ranked this guy higher than the last one. So let's start off with the Frosted Pop Tart. I really do like the Frosted Pop Tart. It's very cute. The palette, the quality is the same as Too Faced. Um, other palettes, the only thing I wish they would done, like I said, in my, um, ranking is that they would have had shimmer on it, um, like a light shimmer because that's as light as you can go unless you want to do a matte, which I don't know. Um, this one has, um, a little bit of glitter to it, but yeah, like they could have like maybe popped out one, like I don't do creams. Like this is fine. This is like a super pastel, um, maybe like one in, it's here, there, there. I just wish one of these four right here, I like, I do like that one, the pink one. So maybe that would have been like a nice light one so I can do it in the corner and then it'd be perfect. Um, this one right here, it gives me um, not the most depth. So of course I like dark eye looks. So I want it deeper than that. So if you, but if you are in the um, lighter than me, it'd be perfect depth for you. So we can give you a few swatches of these. His um, swatch is at the Frosted Pop Tart palette. I'm not going to swatch the bone shade because it's not pointing. <laughs> um, so because it's kind of more of a pinky one. Um, either maybe definitely would have switched this one out right here. Because of course here we had the lead, lead setting shade. And then you have this guy. It's a, like a, for me it's more like 
not going to use shade, but I can use it to like maybe buff it out a little bit, but I don't like to buff. Um, but yeah, really do like it. It's an awesome palette. Start off with the next palette um, is the Mary Mary, Mary um, palette from Too Faced. Yeah, I got this guy. This guy is one of the better, um, one of the best uh, I've tried palettes. Usually I snoop to see what they have during the holidays and I'm like, eh. Every single year I'm just like, eh. So I always grab their um, more fall palette, which is this guy right here. The Cheeks products are very pressed hard. Of course, I don't have any of these on my eyes today. This is what it looks like. It's a Christmas tree-ish. Yes, you get all this dead space everywhere, whatever. I don't really care about dead space. It doesn't bug me, bug others, I don't care, whatever. Um, like, this would drive people nuts having dead space. Yeah, they could maybe put two more eyeshadows and go frick it, but whatever. Um, these, the cheek products, um, especially this one is very pressed hard, but I just picked up on a brush. Um, I don't, I've, the, the other, um, Holiday palettes, I've seen the other Too Faced palettes, horrible. I swatched it, I was like, dude, no. Um, the two, Tarte, I just don't do Tarte. Um, I don't like Tarte. Tarte's a very hit and miss brand. I'm like, ugh. No, I don't do Tarte. Um, I'm a Too Faced core. Like, clearly. So, yeah, my dumbass got this thing. So, I am going to do a review on this palette like I did on my other one. So, let me just give you some quick swatches so you can see what she looks like. Maybe. Okay, so here's some um, swatches for you guys. Oh, my sweet, sweet man just said she's going to work on my party pile. Oh, so I can do my food. Okay, so they do show up nicely on the swatches. Um, the cheek parts, like I said, are very, um, especially that one um, shade, is very hard pressed. Um, but other than that, it does show up. As soon as you get like, the top layer, it's fine. Um, the only ones that I have, this one is pretty hard, decent press, but it, um, again, like I said, um, some of them like, oh, it's not smooth, blah, blah, blah. Um, Too Faced doesn't have the smoothest shadows in the world, in my opinion. Um, especially the holiday pads, they kind of like, in my opinion, they're, I don't want to say chunky, but they're kind of that texture, but as long as you sun spray, whatever, it's fine. It's not as bad as that one palette that I, that it was just complete glitter. It's not glitter, it's just a little bit of sparkle. I don't want to say sparkle to it, but it's not the smoothest thing. But I love it. It does beautiful on the eyes. Um, gorgeous. So there's this guy. It's a mate for if you don't want an idea of the, the um, other shit. Um, to grab this guy. This is beautiful as well. It's not um, as blinding as the other palette they came out with. But it is still really good. So um, the mattes, of course, of course for Too Faced. I love the mattes for Too Faced. They just, they, they're so beautiful. Um, they just build, blend, all that goody dandy stuff. And they just hold, um, hold when you blend they hold it some of them are just kind of like dude where'd it go um the only thing i don't like is um the color story they picked out in the palette not the color story the mattes especially in the palette because you got um all two faces just dorks um i love them so they have like these browns right here and then they have this dude so i'm kind of like dude um then of course they throw some purples and i'm like so I'm like, okay. So I'm like, I, you can use this guy as um, these two right here as out of an out of these if you want to. That's what I do. It works fine. That's my cute like calico being a nut. Um, but yeah, so let me swatch. The only hard press shadow is this guy right here. So let me swatch it. I'm, I am going to swatch this guy right here um, so you can see. All right, so here's some swatches for you guys. Um, they, that's that one shadow that is really hard pressed, but I kind of like dig use my finger to get into it a little bit and it's fine. Um, but yeah, that's that. Buddy, what a douche. <sighs> this guy's been a troublemaker lately. Let it start out on mine. Um, so yeah, so this now let's get into my cute little gremlin palette. I love this thing, it's so cute. Um, I saw this on Instagram, I'm like, uh, I'm searching for you and now you're coming home. Getting it was not the funnest thing in the world. Um, it's from the Mad Beauty. Um, I tried to get the website and they don't do paper, I was like, Fucking hell. Um, then I tried to uh, like search on the other one and I finally got a paper, paper, and it was just like, just a dick. So I'm like, okay, so I'm like, frick it, use my debit card, and then the damn thing declined. I'm like, looks like my PayPal did go through, um, but it did decline on my debit card. So I was like, okay, great. So yeah, it's so freaking cute. Um, it doesn't, 
in my opinion, um, the packaging is just adorable. Um, I don't know if it, like if you want to call gremlin ish but yeah, um, you do get, of course, the two greens for um, stripes, but stripes is not really green. Um, but yeah, so but it's it's cute. And of course, look at Gizmo. She's so he's so cute. Yeah, I love Howie. Um, so anyways, let me swatch this. These things are not the most blending shimmers in the bunch. They're not kind of, I wouldn't say similar to, I don't want to say makeup revolution call the, not that kind of quality, but, um, the, the mats are still, they blend, they build all that janky crap. Um, but the shimmers are not the going to be the really impactful kind of shimmers. They're going to be kind of subtle and they're not going to be more metallic. So many swatch. Okay, the brand I can't think of is this coming to, but um, how they kind of like, they're not Beauty Bay kind of type because that's more sparkly. Um, but yeah, they, they're they not going to be the most, how they are still a little bit on the press hardish a little bit, but they still pick up fine with the fingers. Um, they, of course, the mattes are beautiful. I always do dark to light with my mattes, um, unless, because that's how I get more depth on my eyes. Um, but yeah, so that's how I do it. Um, I don't want to say make a revolution kind of quality, that type of thing, but it's kind of reminding me a little bit of it. Okay, now let's get into um, Odin's Eye. So, these three palettes popped on my, I ordered um, the Ghost Palette. The little Ghost Palette, and I have that on my winking, but of course, then I want to say my friend, the backup to it. I was like, okay, didn't really order this, but okay. Um, yeah, sweet. So, let me show you them. So let's start off with, um, actually, let me move my swatches. Okay, oops, hello. Um, this is the Saga and Frida palette. Um, this is what it looks like. The packaging, of course, on all of these are beautiful. Um, story cardboard packaging. This is the color story of this one. The color story is beautiful. They did um, perform nicely on my eyes. The mattes are nice. They are not the most um, pigmented mattes in the bunch. Again, if you want to say, if you want the same kind of deal, go to Beauty Bay, and they're a lot cheaper. Um, and of course, I think the shipping is much better. So there's this guy. So here's a color story. These shimmers are kind of miracle. Um, I did perform um, pretty on, oops, I forgot this beautiful. The blue on here is just gorgeous. I love the blue. Yeah, I guess I did. The shimmers on here are kind of like I say, miracle and they're not the best shimmers. They're more toppy toppy the shimmers, but I'm kind of like, they did perform nicely on my eyes. I kind of had to move my finger in a little bit on it. And that's how I kind of um, feel about the shimmers. Okay. Oops. So the next one is this guy right here. Um, this one is the Trick or Treat palette. And this is Angie and Nicholas um, um, collab. And I have her other one. Um, and I gave Tyler the other one kind of thing. So let me swatch um, both of these palettes real quick. Maybe. Okay, so here's the Little Witch palette. This one swatches a little bit better, but the mattes are still about the same. You like, can see that there's... The Cornish Deer. Um, and then and there's the other ones, and the same as that one. The shimmers are kind of like sparkly type of things, but they do, they sparkly, but they don't have a lot of my pigmented to it. Like it, it did pour nicely, but they're kind of like a pain ass to get on the eyes. Huda has sometimes have a pain ass to get on the eyes, but I can still work with them on the nine palettes. And I prefer the new, and I would prefer the nine palettes. But yeah, um, if you want to actually similar quality of these, get Beauty Bay because they are a lot cheaper and you can probably get like four of these for the price of one. These are like 40 bucks, I think. Um, but, and they're just, they're just okay. So anyways, hope you guys like this video. Comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you guys later in my next video. Bye guys.